All right, hey, he's Meg here, and uh, so I'm here at a uh, original glass design in San Jose. It's uh, it's not too far from where I live. Uh, it's like a few miles or something. Um, the the old place that I I did I got my glass shelves from before they closed down. Uh, they closed down fairly recently, <laughs> like a, like a, like a year or two ago. So that sucks. But they're a lot farther from me. So. <laughs> Um, yeah, a, a while ago, I had some uh, glass shelves made for uh, my Detolf, right? And I think, I think they were like forty dollars each, each shelf. So, um, but well, well, we'll see when we when I get them, all right? But anyway, I put the order. I just put the order in. I brought the. Sh you saw me. I was carrying the shelf. I, I carry. Um, I brought the shelf to them, and I said, "Hey, I need. I need this made, <laughs> all right?" And they measured it and everything, and they gave me a quote. Um, now, so the, the shelf had a little cut in it, or if you guys remember, right? Um, and, uh, I asked if they could do that and to do that was like, it literally like doubled the price of the shelf. I was like, they wanted like 200 something dollars for it. I was like, Oh, okay. <laughs> for one, for one shelf was 200 bucks. I was like, Holy crap, man. That's, uh, I, I don't remember. It was a lot, man. It was like triple digits. And I was like, Oh, well, I don't really want to spend that much on a shelf, man. <laughs> Um, and then, so I said like, okay, can, can you just take the little, little cut out? I don't, I don't need it. It's just there to, you know, for looks and stuff, you know? So, um, so what I did was, uh, what was it? Um, I just told them to take it out. All right. And, and, and wound up being like $55. So, um, that's how much, uh, and then with the tax, I think it's 120 for two of them. All right. I wanted to order two, remember? So, um, we're going to add two shelves to it. Um, so it wound up being like 120. I think that's a I think that's a good deal. Uh, if I remember correctly, yeah, the shelves were like 40 bucks each for the Detoff, and they're like half the size. <laughs> okay, so so I think that's a pretty good deal. And they said they're gonna they're gonna smooth the edges just like the the, the original one. So sounds good. They said uh, they'll have it here. There they'll have it done by Friday. I'll come pick it up. Uh, what is it? It's it's Wednesday right now, so it's gonna take two days. So unfortunately, I probably won't get to it until Monday because uh, I got a race on Friday. So yeah. So okay, exciting. <laughs> I put the order in. Uh, so so how far? How much am I into it? Uh, I I paid thirty for the display cabinet, and I I just I literally I paid more than I paid for the cap freaking cabinet. That's how much of a good deal I got for that cabinet, man. Uh, I got, I'm in 120 and 30, 150. So 150 for the cabinet and you figure it's, it's like, it's like two D it's almost, it's more than two default detox. If you think about it. Yeah. It's like having two detoffs, but, but we're going to have more shelves than a detoff also. And it's going to be taller and it already has lighting. So it's, uh, for 150 bucks, I got, I, it's basically having like two detoffs with lighting already, you know, and more shelves already. So it's, uh, I think it's a good deal. All right, Hayes Mega was looking to pay. Uh, I was looking to buy like three detox for around like the two hundred bucks. All right, that's a scoop there. So, um, so yeah, I think uh, I think it's still a good deal, and uh, I think I can still get a detox if I can find one. I can I can put a detox still in that room. All right, I, I can make some room in there. So <laughs> for what more? All right, yeah. The idea was to try to get three detox, maybe even four, but. Um, I don't know. That little room is running out of space. Is the problem? So, but uh, but yeah, I got a home for uh, figures now. So, okay. Anyway, when I get uh, when I come back on Friday, all right, we'll we'll pick them up. We'll take a look at them, and then uh, um, I will start cleaning up the display cabinet today. So, and then and then we can start putting figures in it. Uh, maybe I will. Uh, maybe I'll even adjust the shelves too. I'll, I'll make the shelves. Uh, me. Yeah, let me. I might figure out what the what the height of the shelves are. Uh, I'm basically gonna copy the shelf height from the from one of my other my bigger shelf that's in my room. Yeah. Anyway, so that's that's a scoop. All right, we got we got a home for the figures. <laughs> we got a home for the plastic waifus, and um, we we just we just gotta um, I gotta make it nice. All right, and then uh, we'll see if I can. Uh, I don't know if there's going to be any kind of dust proofing that we can do to it. Uh, we'll, we'll see. Um, I'll try to add those little gasket thingies to the side of the window and stuff, the, the doors and stuff. So, okay, that's a scoop. 
So uh, so Friday they said it should be done. Hopefully it'll be done tomorrow because, uh, yeah, hopefully it'll be done tomorrow because uh, I, I got something going on on Friday. All right. Here's me out. All right. Hey, Hades Omega here. And here we are working on this guy. I just finished cleaning it up. I used some of this stuff, Pledge, to polish the wood. All right. It wasn't too dirty. And then, um, and then I just uh, cleaned all the windows with the, this guy. All lots of freaking yeah. There's a lot of glass in the mirror in the back too, man. And there's still you can still see some kind of some some kind of marks or something. I think some of the pledge got on the glass and then like it's kind of hard to get off. So, but that's as good as I can do for now. <laughs> that's all I really want to do. I added the handy switch. All right. So all I have to do is hit this and it turns on. Pretty cool. Yeah, you can see some kind of streaks and stuff here. I can't get it out. That's the worst one, and that's like where the where you would look at the figures the most, right, on the top. But it's pretty good. I think that'll work for now. It's a work in progress. It's it's like basically I just needed a dusting anyway. So there's a lot of dust that uh, accumulates here. Okay, on the edges. There's pretty good. Um, it's pretty good seal for the glass. The glass is sealed all the way on the front, mostly anyway. Some of the seals are coming out. Okay, it's very nice the way they made this. There's a seal all the way here. See, it's kind of breaking. You'll see some breaks like right here or something. Um, there is a gap. There's a gap right here. See, yeah, you can see it. So we'll see if I can address that. I want to put some like kind of felt tape on that to make a little oh, gasket seal. And then I think we should be good. Uh, maybe add some on the top too, right here. A very thin thing to keep that dust from getting. So the dust obviously is getting in somehow. <laughs> so um, it's not getting in from the glass. The glass is pretty sealed. So okay, so it's clean. Now uh, the next step is uh, I gotta go adjust the shelves. So I'm gonna set it up similar to the, like the one I have in the other room. We'll probably move this maybe up here or up here somewhere around there. Um, yeah, I got to figure out how I want the shelves. I think I want a big shelf on the top and a smaller shelf on, or maybe two smaller shelves on the bottom. I'm not sure. We'll figure it out. There's going to be one here in the middle. Why isn't this moved? Okay, yeah, there's going to be one here in the middle. And then, yeah, that's a good question. Where am I going to put them? Because there's this thing in the middle, so we have to put one here. And then we'll move this, maybe move this one up to here. And move this one up to here. I don't know. We'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Because there's a big shelf here, the way this is. There's a big, big, big shelf here. There's a kind of smaller shelf here. And then there's a, yeah, this thing is like in half right here. So maybe I maybe I, he didn't need to buy two extra shelves. I'm not sure. We'll figure it out. All right, but it's taller than a Detoff, so we'll figure it out. All right. Anyway, that's what I got to do tomorrow. All right, and then that's it. And then we uh, I haven't got the shelves from the from the glass place. Um, they didn't call me on Friday, so I'm assuming on Monday they'll call me. Uh, I got the invoice. So, all right, that's it for now. Looking good, and the lights are working. Very sweet. All right, here we go. All right, guys, it's the next evening, and there it is. We've got the. Uh... So um, I believe we're 13 inches here. So I measured. Uh, D top is 15 inches, guys. So from here to here is 15 inches. This is like one shelf on a D top. All right, so this is 13. It's shy, just shy of what a D top size is. For this is for the bigger figures. And then there's 10, and then another 10 here, okay? Ten, I figured 10, I looked at my figures, and 10 inches is about, you know, what, what like, your medium-sized figure is like, okay? Um, and then really big figures, 13 is good, all right? Here we got a really, I decided to keep one, one of the big ones right here, okay? This is a 15 here, and then I think this is a 10, and then this is, like, a 9 or 10 or something, so... It gets it's bigger, smaller, and then it gets smaller again. Okay, I don't know how much we're going to use that. 
Okay, so that's a scoop. Okay, so, uh, and then I added the, yeah, I did, I added the, the L brackets. Okay, the corner brackets. They fit perfectly, all right? The screws are a little bit longer than the original ones, but it didn't go all the way through the wood, so that's good. All right, and then um, I have to put something around this. I think I'm gonna get a silicone tape and put it around there. I was thinking of putting this, but I only have six of them. It's a bummer. I think I got this from Daiso or something. So, just the rubber ones. I didn't want the felt ones. The felt ones are sliders, so. Um, so, yeah. So I'm going to go get some silicone tape, and we'll just wrap it around like once. We'll wrap it around like once, and then like one and a half or something. Okay, and hopefully that'll be good. All right, or I'll just buy more more of these pads. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Okay, so I'll go put all the original shelves in, and then we'll see if one of them fits on here. Okay, I'm getting the shelves. I Hopefully I'm getting the shelves tomorrow. Okay. Okay, so something weird is happening here. Um, this one isn't like perfectly level. So if I move this, it does that, okay? And I found out it's that one. It's that one that's doing it. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is tilt this one up like that till it touches, and then I'm gonna screw it in tighter. <laughs> or we could just leave it like that. See, now it doesn't. It doesn't move, but if I press it on, uh, down on it enough, it probably will move. So, so what I probably want to do is get that set where I want it, and then tighten that screw more. So, all right. Okay, yeah. So definitely, uh, I well, I put it on there. It fits fine with the new um, uh, corner brackets, but as you can see, I, I adjusted this one so it doesn't move, but it still it vibrates. Okay. Not like this one. Okay, so uh, what I want to do is put um, put that tape around there. So, yeah, you know what? I could just put electrical tape. Let's just do that. Let's put electrical tape on it. All right. Okay. Yeah, man. It does that, man. I think that I don't think the electrical tape is a good enough insulator. I need to find something else. See, that's pretty bad. Every time you open or close this thing, it's gonna make a lot of noise. This is fine. This is the original L uh, corner bracket, but not this one. See, like it vibrates. So you need something to dampen it, I guess. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll go. I'll go find some kind of. Uh, I'll find more of this stuff. All right, let's just put that on there. I'll just use four for now, just for an experiment. <laughs> okay. But yeah, I wrapped it with the electrical tape, so I did. See the black stuff that's on there? Yeah, that's the electrical tape. I wrapped it around like maybe like twice or something. All right. Okay. Yep. I put the little rubber feet thing there, and much better. Much much better. Okay. So yeah, definitely. I'll have to find another four of those for those ones down there. But I'll, I'll wrap those ones in electrical tape too. I think it looks nicer with the. Other. It looks. It kind of matches the other ones more with the electrical tape but yep there so that's how the first one looks all right guys pretty nice all right we've got the bigger one here smaller one here and the other size one right here very nice okay and then we'll be getting the two shelves tomorrow hopefully okay so yep I, I, so i'll just put these back where they belong all right this should be like this one should be here. Yeah, it's kind of hard. To, there's, there's kind of, it's kind of loose a little bit. Okay. And then um, I'll just clean it up, all those fingerprints and stuff. I've decided to put this little cut thing on the back. Okay. I don't know. Should I have it in the front or the back? I don't know, man. It's just there for decoration, man. <laughs> okay, there she is. Got the three shelves. We'll be getting the two shelves very soon. Okay, and uh, then we'll start filling it up. All right, guys. I'm doing some uh, some more work on the uh, the new display cabinet. And so what I did is uh, this was too too wide. All right, um, there's a gap. All right, like I mentioned, there's a gap. 
I already put some figures in here, guys. <laughs> it's uh, Alice and the uh, Albedo. They're getting they're getting friendly. But yeah, you can see there's a there's a there's a sizable gap here. It's about like two millimeters or something. It's pretty big. So we're gonna try to reduce that gap. Uh, that's that's where I think the 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 dust is getting in this thing. Okay. So uh, what I did is so we're gonna add this this kind of felt material here on the sides. Okay. So they're gonna they're gonna go right here. Okay, I haven't gotten the new shelves yet. I, apparently it's Washington's birthday or something. It's President's Day or something. And um, it's a holiday and I guess they're not working, man. So I called them a bunch of times. Maybe I'll call them again after this. Um, but yeah, we're going to add it right here along the edge. All right, and that should help cover up that gap a little bit. Okay, and it was too wide before. So what I did was, all I did was cut it in, in, in half, all right? And that gave me twice the material, all right? So... I was afraid I was going to run out, but nope, because I did that, I can thing, all right? So also, you probably need to do the top also. Yeah, I would probably do the top here also. That's where dust can get in also. So we'll, we'll do it here, here, all the way down there, and probably maybe the bottom. I'm not sure. We'll see. But the bottom, probably not. Um, we can put that furry stuff on the bottom. Um, this actually has got a pretty good um, seal on it too, so maybe maybe we can add something to this this thingy right here. But this will this prevents dust from getting in, so so that's good. It's actually not bad. Um, we can put that uh, whisker stuff that that um, that furry stuff on the bottom here. All right. So when you close it, there's thing. Maybe we can put it on the top too. I'm not sure, but. Yeah, we're just going to add that felt material here to, to seal that gap. Hopefully it's wide enough. Let's see. Let me go get some of it. Okay, so here it is. I think it's too thin. Oh, that's good. That's perfect. Yeah, it's perfect. It's just the right size, actually. It's, it's perfect. Holy crap. All right, so it's just thick enough to cover that. And, I mean, if even if there was a little gap, you know, the, the dust is going to have a harder time getting in there. Okay. 